This is interesting. Reaching out to Silicon Valley, Stephen, that relationship mm -hmm. between tech and the government has been troubled of late. It's been incredibly troubled ever since the Snowden revelations, where it turns out that the government was uh, sucking up all the information that uh, Google and Yahoo and others uh, from their data centers that, that they thought about was private about their customers. There's not been a lot of trust there. And then more recently, the clash with Apple, who wanted to encrypt its, its data there. And, and that's something that I'm sure is going to come up uh, as people talk about the bombings in the, in the future there. Specifically, what she's talking about is the recruiting online. And it sort of makes sense to say, gee, we don't want uh, Twitter or Facebook or other places to be platforms to recruit terrorists. But on the other hand, it's very hard to surgically remove those bits, which are uh, terrorist recruitment videos from other forms of free speech. Well, so much of tech, Shelley, is moving toward end-to-end -to -end encryption. The companies have said that users' privacy is paramount. So what more can Washington and Silicon Valley do together where privacy isn't compromised? There, there's a tremendous amount. First of all, we're, we're dealing with a decentralized enemy, and what they're doing is they're using common tools now to propagate ideas, and ideas are very hard to kill. I'm not even sure you want to force them underground or off Twitter and Facebook because they're very visible. What you do want is to use machine learning algorithms and training sets for machine learning tools to understand what's being said and how it leads to various outcomes, and that is inside our capability, both from the law enforcement side as well as just from the private sector side. Being able to analyze sentiment is something that advertisers have been trying to do for a very long time. They're advertising hate and they're advertising that they're going to do harm. The same tools that we use to advertise, and I hate to use this word, targets in advertising, we can use to identify targets and terrorism. But, but there's why do you two think fights. This isn't already happening if the capability is there. So it is happening. This is an arms race in, in a very real way. On any given day, the tool sets are better than other tool sets. You know, today we're better than them, then tomorrow they're better than us. They have volume on their side, and we have machine learning on our side. So at a certain point, we're going to, to surpass their volume because the capabilities of the computational power will actually exceed their ability to, to use volume right, to right. beat it. But it's, you know, it's hard. There's no question about it. I'm, I'm thinking, Stephen, you know, we used to go to the post office to see an FBI wanted poster. Mm -hmm. Today, Everyone got it at the same time. Yes, that thing. Including, I thought it was a tornado going yeah, to hit. Right. In, in the halls of the UN, phones were going off with this picture yeah. this morning. Yeah, no, that, that was impressive. And I think it, it has, is a statement about that. Uh, you don't want to overuse that, to have the thing go off all the time and, and say, you know, I don't care. And when it turns out there is a tornado barreling down the road towards you. Um, but the machine learning thing is, is really interesting. We've made a huge advances of this, but I think machine learning is a lot better when we're identifying images in Google Photos and faces even, and to try to get sentiment there. All you need to do is look at the Facebook trending topics and see how sometimes they pick um, things that are fake news stories to see that we're not where we want to be on that stuff. I don't, I don't disagree with that statement, but I will say there are two fights here. One is the technological fight where we're going to have to use tools. And by the way, good or bad, they're the best we have right now. And sentiment analysis and being able to analyze um, natural language processing, et cetera, that's, it's going to just get better and better and better. But the second, much more important fight is the one against the ideology, a decentralized enemy that can recruit without physically talking to whoever it is they're recruiting. Right. And this narrative has to be countered, and it's not as simple as like trying to kill the idea because history has shown us it is really hard to kill an idea. So a counter narrative must be mounted, and every human being in the world has the, who has a cell phone, who has an online connection, has the ability to, get, to be part of this narrative. They're fighting every day to get the hate out there. We're not fighting every day to make it go away. Not everybody, only a certain few. So all of them are working towards making it bad. Not all of us are making it, right. trying to make it good. It's, it's a big issue. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.